just showing after I had um, closed cell foam insulation done. I just wanted to show um, what the temperature of the outside uh, walls look like uh, using an infrared um, temperature gun. Uh, so if I pointed out an exterior wall, it's measuring at 57 degrees, 58, 59. So that's untreated. And here's an old part of the basement, which I had foamed. Now this is all an exterior wall. This would have been the same temperature before I did the foam. And I have no heat in this room. There is a furnace in the background running. Hopefully you can see this. But I mean, the temperature swing is pretty good. I mean, it's really comfortable now that this has been done. They did the rim joists. This is where we're moving closer to the um, the wall where all the furnace pipes are. If I shoot the window, it should get pretty cold right in here. Like I said, it was two degrees this morning, ambient. And now, of course, it's getting warmer because I'm getting close to my um, hydronic piping here. But, I mean, this wall would have been just like in the 50s. This foam was really a good idea. I mean, just to show what this would um, measure, this is the um, dryer duct. And I know there's some air leaking right around here, so if I point the thing right in there, it should drop pretty low. Some air coming in there. Well, anyways, that was the video. I just wanted to show the difference with them. You know, right now it's 7 degrees outside, so it's gone up a whopping 5 degrees. But it was 2, and uh, I just can't believe how well this um, closed cell foam does. And like I said, this is an unheated basement, so. All right, that's it.